Hey guys, Paradoxio here. Uh, welcome back to a brand new video. This is part 7 of our creating a Discord bot in Python series. In this video, we are going to be um, implementing a system where each server that this bot is in can have their own customizable command. Uh, the way we're going to be doing this is using JSON files. Now, ideally, you would want to use a database. And if you do want to use a database, uh, my personal recommendation is MySQLite 3. Or uh, if you know how to use any other databases, feel free to do so. Um, I say this because JSON files can be corrupted very easily if you're not careful. As for um, databases, it's really hard to corrupt them. However, if you're careful and you don't mess with your JSON file, a lot you should be fine uh, my personal advice to JSON files is don't touch them manually unless you absolutely have to uh, I would just let the program do all the work so to get started we're gonna type in import JSON and after we do that we're going to uh, create a new file we're gonna name it prefixes uh, JSON. So if you don't know how J if you don't know what JSON is, JSON is a file format for uh, reading and writing data to it. Uh, JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. However, it has been implemented to be used with other coding languages like Python, C Sharp, um, C plus plus, etc. So uh, inside your JSON file, you're just going to type in a set of curly braces on line 1, just like that. Not the straight braces, but the uh, curly braces. And after you do that, and it looks like this, just go ahead and close the file out, because you're not going to need it anymore. And after you do that, you're going to go to the very top of our code, just below your imports, but above your uh, client uh, variable declaration and um, we're going to go ahead and create a function that basically retrieves the server's custom prefix. So we're going to name this function get server prefix. Inside our parentheses here we're going to type in client and then message. After we do that we are going to create a with statement. So with open prefixes.json and we're going to open it in uh, reading mode. And we're going to label this as F for file. And then after we indent, we're going to type in json.load F. Excuse me. After you do that, you are going to skip a line. Well, you don't have to, but it just makes it look nice and readable. And you're going to get out of that width block. And then you're just going to type in return prefix. Oh, wait a second. Forgot to actually make that a variable here. So you're gonna make wanna make sure it says prefix equals json.loadf. And after you do that, you're gonna type in return prefix str message dot field dot id. And just like that, you are now done with our get server prefix um, function. This is not a command, this is just a normal Python function that will be used when uh, our client is created and ran. So after you do that, you're going to go into line 13 or whatever our client equals commands.bot uh, statement or uh, variable. And where it says command prefix, we're going to remove the prefix we gave it in the past, and we're going to type in get server prefix just like that. Intent and all that stays the same. So that's the only change you're making in your uh, commands.bot variable. <clears throat> Excuse me. So after we do that, we're going to make two uh, events. One for when the bot joins the server, and one for when it is removed from the server. To do that, uh, we're just going to go down here, we're going to type in client.event to think def on build join. 
And then we're going to type in guild. Or pets in guild, I should say. And then we're going to make our... Uh, we're going to copy and paste our with statement into here. And then you're going to type in prefix. CR guild id we're going to set it equal to our default prefix the bot will have when joining a server so basically what this is going to do is when the bot joins a server it's going to have a prefix set by default and it can be whatever prefix you want to be i'm going to make it an exclamation point so basically this event says once the bot joins the server this prefix will be set uh, to a uh, exclamation point. And we're gonna copy and paste this again. Whoops. And we're gonna remove this here. And we're actually gonna change this R to a W because now we're writing it and uh, or now we're writing to the file, sorry. And then we're gonna type in json.dump. And we're gonna type in prefix. F and indent. I'll set it equal to four, so that way it looks nice in the JSON file. Well, that's about it for the. Um, that's just about it for the on guild join event. Now we're actually gonna copy and paste this because the on guild remove event is just the same thing. We're just gonna change join to remove here, and then uh, I'm gonna remove this here, and I'm gonna type in dot pop. And basically doing that, what this is going to do is it's going to basically... So let's say we have a bunch of servers here that have set prefixes. If one of these servers uh, kicks out our bot, it'll basically remove that line or that server from this file. So that way our file doesn't just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger even when the server leaves. It just keeps our uh, file nice and readable and also small in uh, file size. So after you do that, we're basically done now. I think so, yep. So now we're gonna create our um, command for our setting the prefix. So I'm gonna type in client.command. Let's see. Uh, and we're going to type in set prefix just like that or change prefix or just prefix whatever you want to name it and we're going to type in ctx and then uh, asterisk and then prefix or new prefix oh and we're going to make sure this is a string by the way because uh, we don't want our prefix to be set to a number because I'm pretty sure doing that can mess things up. So we're going to make sure it is a uh, string. Now, if you want a number to be included in your um, prefix, you can just have it your prefix and your server set to something like exclamation point three. That should work because it's still taking in as a string. So just like that, um, we now have our argument set. And then we're going to uh, open this up again. Or not open, oh, sorry. We're going to copy and paste that again. Sorry guys, it's been a long day. And inside here we're going to change that to ctx.guild.id. And then we're going to set this equal to new prefix. So basically what this does is it opens the file in read mode. It loads all that into prefix. And then, uh, this line, line 44, basically changes the default prefix to the new prefix that the uh, person puts in as their argument. And then it's going to write to the file. So after that, we're pretty much done. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, look at this file here. So it's empty, obviously. Uh, I'm actually going to remove my bot. But you'll see why here soon. I'm going to run my file now. Just make sure everything is good. Alright, so we are connected to Discord. 
So now I'm going to uh, invite this bot to my server. So that's a server. I'm going to add it to my test server and my uh, other server as well. So I'm going to invite it to House of Code. By the way, you should join that server. Uh, we have quite a few people in there. Yep, so now YT Bot is back in here. If you ever need help with code, by the way, please join this server. Um, I try to help as many people out as I can, and a lot of others will help you as well. So now if we look in our JSON file, we have two of my servers here. So this is my test server ID, and this is my uh, house of code ID. And as you can see, it's both set to our default prefix. Now I'm going to open this up right here. And then I'm going to uh, basically have it split screen like that. So as you can see, if I run the exclamation point in ping, as you can see, it says pong. But now I want to set my prefix. So I'm going to type in set prefix. And we're going to make it an equal sign. So look closely to our JSON data when I run this command. As you can see from my test server, it is now set to an equal sign. And I'm going to change the one in here. Set prefix plus sign. So now my house of code server is a plus sign. Probably should have done this in bot commands. And then my uh, test server's prefix is set to uh, the equal sign. So if I uh, go ahead and type in ping here with an equal sign, as you can see, it still works. And if I go to my main server, house of code, and type in plus sign, ping still works. And then we can uh, go ahead and type in set prefix back to exclamation point and then ping change the prefix and if I go here and then type in set prefix equal sign and then ping with an equal sign set exclamation point as you can see um, depending on the server we now have customizable um, prefixes and uh, we have it set to an exclamation sign by default. So now each server that this bot is in can have customizable prefixes. Pretty neat. This is very useful for uh, people who have a lot of bots in their server and they want each of their bots to have its own prefix so it just doesn't look chaotic when you run a ping command and have like four bots responding at once, basically. Uh, this just keeps that from happening. So that is about it for this video. Uh, we now have a custom uh, prefix command. And just like that, all we did was create our command here to set the prefix and we have our two events. Oh, actually, there's something I want to show you. Let me run this bot again. So let's say I uh, want to remove Let's say I don't want this bot in House of Code anymore, so I'm going to kick the bot and look closely. As you can see, it removes it from that file. That's what I mean when I say that it uh, just cleans the file out and gets rid of that server that is no longer uh, housing that bot. So that's how the file will remain nice and clean and also fairly small in uh, megabytes or gigabytes, whatever. So that's just about it for this video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I know this is a bit of a longer video and a lot more code than I usually do. However, uh, I know a lot of people want to know how to have customizable prefixes. So yeah, uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching. And oh yeah, thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers. Uh, I did not expect to gain 40 subs in the past like what two weeks just starting this series uh that makes me uh, pretty happy and confident i uh it also makes me want to continue this series so thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys next time and oh yeah if you need help join my discord server uh myself and a lot of other people are willing to help you out with your code that just about does it Bye bye